It's unlocked. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manuscript. The symbols on the front seem to be written in classical Greek. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room. That's just swell. He's dead. The beam must have fallen and crushed his skull. medical charts on the human anatomy. This sink would be used for scrubbing up. Dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. From the markings, he must have been one of their own. I wonder if he volunteered. Seems like these cabinets are used for storing chemicals and medical equipment. God, what the hell is all this? Looks like his kidneys. They're moving around in all that liquid. This pipe must drain the waste from his intestines. It looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are for. His beating heart. The contraption above seems to be controlling his breathing. 
Looks like his stomach. Must have overloaded. He's dead. The crystal's still warm. I've never seen equipment like this before. This tunnel feels like it's going to collapse at any moment. up. It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. What the hell is that? It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it, probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult 
delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told no one else. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. D did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Ryan Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway.